What's going on YouTube? This is Ultima I Device Vids, and in this video I'm going to be giving you an update video on the new iOS 7.0.3 update and of course the jailbreak safety and what it brings. Now the first thing I wanted to say is that 7.0.3 is safe to update to if you are already on iOS 7 and you're looking forward to the next jailbreak for iOS 7. Muscle Nerd did confirm that on Twitter just a little while ago, as you can see here. And he said that if you've already lost your jailbreak by updating to iOS 7.x, that it's okay to go from 7.0.x to 7.0.3. So if you guys are already on 7.0.2 or 7.0.1, 7.0, it's okay to update to 7.0.3. It's not going to harm your ability to jailbreak in the future. However, do not update in settings, general software update over the air. You want to use iTunes to update because there have previously been problems with updating over the air and then jailbreaking. So just go into iTunes and update your device on your computer rather than doing it on the device. And of course, if you guys are currently jailbroken right now on iOS 6 or below, you want to stay there to preserve your jailbreak. And the next thing I wanted to talk about is what iOS 7.0.3 actually brings, its new features. And one of the most exciting ones that everybody is really happy about is now in settings, general accessibility. If you turn on reduce motion, it gives these nice fading animations when you open and close your apps. And with this off and earlier versions of iOS 7, it actually just zoomed like this. And people were complaining that this was slowing down their animation launch times for applications. And I did notice it definitely. It didn't bother me that much. But now in iOS 7.0.3, they've improved that. If you turn this on, as you can see, it's these nice fade animations. It does not take up much time at all. And it's really just improved for those people complaining about that. So definitely enable that if you are slowed down by the iOS 7 animation. And of course, enabling reduced motion also does disable the parallax effect that was added in iOS 7. So as you can see, if I turn it off again, you can now see the parallax is on. You can see the wallpaper moves behind the icons. And when you do, again, enable that, it takes your app animations away and disables parallax. That'll save battery and make sure your apps launch a lot faster. I would recommend you enable this for a better performance of your device. And that's the main feature of 7.0.3. It also contains iMessage fixes, as well as the motion sickness problem with parallax. You know, it miscalculating the accelerometer when you use the parallax feature. I never used that, so that wasn't a big problem. And other than that, there are just some bug fixes and some improvements to the operating system that are very minor and that you probably won't even notice. But that's mainly what it is. It's that fade animation and just a couple fixes. Other than that, you guys can update again for the jailbreak. It's fine. You're not, it's not going to hurt your ability to jailbreak in the future, so you can update now. But again, use iTunes to update, not over the air. And thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.